At the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, vaccine scientists have been playing the long game. We knew that this virus was going to mutate. As shots from Moderna, Pfizer, and Johnson & Johnson raced through human trials, Dr. Kayvon Mojarid and his team were focused on what might be the next generation of coronavirus vaccines, what Dr. Fauci referred to last month as the holy grail. What you really need to do is to get a vaccine that's potent enough and broad enough that it will overlap all of the other variants. You can give that a name, more of a universal SARS-CoV-2 vaccine. That's what we're aiming at, so that we don't have to be repetitive every year coming back to chase after these variants. Tomorrow, the first step toward a potential universal vaccine for viruses like SARS-CoV-2. The Walter Reed vaccine is starting human clinical trials. It works differently from the leading vaccines, using a protein called ferritin as a scaffold to present the coronavirus spike protein multiple times to the immune system. Mujerid's team wrote in a paper posted last week, though not yet peer-reviewed, that in animal studies, the vaccine, quote, elicits broad neutralizing antibody responses that exceed those observed for other major vaccines. It's very potent and active against all the different variants of concern of this particular SARS-CoV-2 and has activity against other SARS-like viruses. Now, as they start human trials tomorrow, the team is also looking now to see if the vaccine can also protect against coronaviruses identified in bats that haven't even made the leap into people yet. The goal ultimately is a vaccine that can protect against all of these threats and potentially even the coronaviruses that cause the common cold. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.